Hello students, uh, in this part we will just discuss the uh, topic uh, expressions, okay. So how to find the expressions, how to take the operator precedence, which operator should come first that we will discuss in this part. So expressions means that combinations of operators and operands, okay. I am taking you one example, suppose A equal to, I am taking here A equal to B plus 4, so B is an operand, 4 is also an operand and plus is operators. So total we are finding that is called A, A we can say it is an expressions. So here only plus sign is there, one is equal sign is there. So in few cases are there where we can store many things. Not only this operator, we can use some more examples. We can use the more uh, uh, operators also. So I am giving you some more example by taking the expressions. Okay. In first we will take the arithmetic operations, arithmetic expressions. So in arithmetic expressions uh, that we can use the complex number, we can use the floating numbers, etc. We can use integers only. Uh, like that relational expressions also we can use the uh, different types of relational expressions, relational operators. In similar way logical expression we can use. In the similar way string expressions also we can use. Okay. So evaluating the expression just we will discuss in the uh, different chapter. So in arithmetic operators just I am showing you one example. Just look at this example. This is a, this is a character type. This is an integer type. When character and integer both uh, will be added, then integer value will come. In the similar way, here it is the double means floating type number. So integer and float when both will come, the output will come the double form. That means that is the floating value. So what will the value, what will the type of A? The type of A will be the double or floating type of value. So in this expression, suppose the expression contains one character contains one integer by one floating value, the output must come that is a floating type of value. So in this way we can find out the type of data, uh, means type of uh, expressions, what type of expressions we are using for A that also we can find out. Suppose we will take another uh, example for the relational expression. Suppose I am writing A less than B and we are writing and C less than uh, suppose D. So in this case whatever the value will come in this suppose it may be true or it may be false then again the both can be compared by using and then the output will come according to this. So that means here we are using the relational expressions and uh, here we are using the arithmetic expression. So expressions can be used ex in expressions different types of data different types can be used to uh, evaluate its value. Next we will discuss about the type casting. What is type casting? Type casting in another word we can say it is the explicit type of conversions. Suppose when one conversion is uh, means uh, that means changes to the different conversions. Suppose one type to different types. One value was in int type now we have converted to floating type. Okay. That means changing the conversion is known as the type casting. So it is known as the explicit type of conversions also. That is explicit type of conversion of an operand uh, just to specific type is called the type casting. Okay, I am showing one example. Suppose one value is in integer form. A equal to 3 is given. That means integer. So if A equal to 3 means 3 is an integer type and A is also an integer type of value. If I want to convert to the floating type, so I can write float, I can write float within bracket A. This is called the type casting or we can say explicit type of conversion. That means A was integer. Now it converted to uh, that means floating type. So now in mathematics, okay, in arithmetic or in the conversion functions, data conversion functions, few conversion functions direct we are using. Direct we are using from the different number convertible to the different another number. So we will take one example. Suppose I want to convert a particular uh, digit or any floating value to integer type so I can use int I can use int if I want to convert to floating type then I can use float f l o a t that is called float suppose I want to convert to complex type the command that functions we can write 
complex okay if you want to find the string type you can write str okay in the similar way if you want to convert to boolean type then you can write bool that means one part to another part one form to another part okay suppose it is it is in string type you convert to suppose 3 30 30 is the integer type i want to convert to string so you are right you write str s is small you write str 30 so that means 30 is now the string type of data so in this way we can convert from one data type to another type of data so now we'll discuss about some math modules in python okay math modules i'll just show you some examples of mathematical functions in math modules so now we'll discuss some math module the functions we are using first one is the seal functions but remember whenever we are writing these functions you have to use the module name first so one example i am writing here suppose i i want to use pow so you must write math dot pow then after that you write its functions so math dot pow must be written so first one is seal what is the use of seal the seal functions returns the smallest integer but not less than that now one example i am taking suppose i am writing seal of 3.6 that output will be that output will be 4 that output will be 4 generally you know uh, seal and one one is their floor this this one also i am suppose i am telling 3.6 the output will be 3 so what is the the logic you i am telling you uh, what is the logic behind this one just to find uh, seal value seal means that is the higher one and uh, floor means that is the lower one so when seal value means higher value will take 3.6 is there so it will it will come that is 4 it's higher value 3.6 is there floor we are taking we will take 3 means it's lower value okay so uh, we can just uh, use like this suppose 4.9 is there so 4.9 means that is 4 a uh, 5 suppose 4.1 that means also 5 okay here suppose 3.0 means also 3 3.9 is also 3 then sqr sqrt sqrt means to find the square root of a number okay then next exp 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 means that is that it returns the natural logarithm e raised to any argument power so e e base suppose e to the power 5 yeah e to the power 2 yeah something when whenever it will be there accordingly we can use the exp the functions we are using and we can put its value here and then fabs it finds the absolute value of a number what do we mean by absolute value absolute value means suppose the number fabs i am writing minus 3 so the output will be 3 its absolute value is 3 if fabs we are taking 4 the absolute value also 4 next uh, floor already I have told you then log log functions return the natural logarithm for the number Okay, that means a domain error occur if num is negative and a and a range error occurs if the argument num is zero So it gives the natural logarithm for the value that is 1.0 natural logarithm Next is pow pow means that is the power it exponent part Okay if I want power 3 comma 2, that means 3 to the power 2, means 3 into 3, 9. Next is sine, cos and 10. Sine functions returns the sine of argument. Cos is cos cosine and 10 is tangent. Just like mathematics, what we are using the sine theta, cos theta and 10 theta. In the similar way, you can use the sine, cos and 10. 10. Okay, so some examples I am giving you just now. So, see these two examples. I have written first a square plus b square plus c square. So, how to write this one? This square root is given. So, you write math dot sqrt. Math dot sqrt is must. Okay. After the math dot sqrt, then you write a square for, we can write uh, pow a comma 2 also we can write. Or you can write a into a plus b into b plus c into c in this way we can write second one 2 minus you write here 2 minus y here no sign is there means multiplication is sign is there e means exp so you write here math dot 
exp within bracket 2 into y 2y will write plus 4y so 4 into y 4y means one multiplication sign is there so you have to write accordingly i hope students you understood take one more example suppose it is given e is 2 minus x it means this value it means absolute value so we can write math dot facts after that we can bracket e2 means exp so you write math dot exp within bracket 2 minus x bracket close so in this way also we can write the exp value and the absolute value that is fabs so do more practice the different uh, i will also give you in assignments also you do more practice uh, by taking some more examples so now we'll discuss about the random modules so i'll tell you what is what do you mean by random modules so in this random modules okay it provides the random numbers and we can say the random generator also random number means simple the number given by the computer automatically it will generate the numbers so for that reason we need to import the uh, package that is we can write import random okay these things you have to write import random after that we can uh, just write the random number just two functions are there one is the random functions and one is the uh, one is random functions we can write and one is i can write rend int random and one is rend int random means what it returns the number okay it returns the number in means uh, that is less than it is greater than equal to zero and less than one that means the number should be the number should be suppose 0, 0.0 less than equal to n or less than 1 okay did you understand students so the value will come always in the form of uh, we can take whether it is 1.0 the value will be always in the form of the floating point number okay floating point number it generates so suppose if i'll write only random this one it may be 0 0.9 it may be, that means it should be less than 1 0 0.9 0 0.8 or 0 0.88 or something it the value will come accordingly but if we'll take rend int that it will be that is a less than equal to n and less than equal to b that means if i am taking 5 to 8 the value will come in between 5 and 8 including 5 and 8 in between 5 and 8 means including 5 and 8 any numbers may uh, means generate it may be 5 it may be 6 or it may be 8 so in this way we can just use it and one more thing is that another function is there that is called the rend range one is there rend range r a n d r a n g e rend range what do we mean by this rend range functions so suppose i am writing here random i am taking that uh, import functions here i am taking random dot rend range okay i'm i'm writing here suppose one value <coughs> you give here 45 okay i'm writing here one value 45 so a random number generates the range okay generates the range means we can generate 45 means what that the range is 45 so within 45 means below 45 any value can uh, generate okay can be generated one value the value may be from 0 onwards that is 30 maybe 35 maybe 41 uh, like that any value may be there in the similar way we can start the starting value ending value and stop value also starting value ending value stop value means what suppose when i had given a rend range the value sorry random dot rend range on 45 means below 45 it will be there suppose instead of 45 suppose instead of 45 if i'll write uh, that is 30 comma 45 it means the value will be there after 30 it means 35 
it means 37 it may be 42 okay the range will be accordingly means start start value is there and uh, stop value is there that means from this value to that value so from 30 to 45 in the similar way start value stop value and step value can also be given start stop means what suppose i am giving here 3 comma uh, suppose 50 comma 2 means this is called the start value this is called the stop value and this is called the step value means the random numbers means after 3 next one should be 5 because 2 step value is there so it may be 5 it may be 7 it may be 9 it may be 11 so from this value one number will be generated so this is called the random dot rend range so we can give without numbers only stop value only start and stop value and also start stop and step value also okay so in the similar way another module is also there that is called the statistic module so for that reason we can use import import statistics okay import statistics So import statistics so in this statistics the functions we can use one is uh, mean median and mode also so we can use the mean functions and median functions and mode functions this three can be included within the statistics uh, that is uh, one package from here also that is we can say module also so we can use the mean functions that means median functions and mode mean, mean median median and mode uh, by using these functions from the module statistics so i hope students you understood uh, the things whatever i have discussed and i have given some examples so you do more practice you do more practice from the book many examples are given from the book from the solved and unsolved part you do practice and uh, and if you are having any doubt you can just ask me by sending the message thanks for watching and have a nice day